My name is Christine Marquette. I'm a dietitian with Austin Regional Clinic, and I'm going to talk to you about how to curb an appetite. There are actually several different ways you can curb your appetite. One of the things you want to keep in mind is to try and avoid junk foods, things that are high in sugar or fat, such as candy, cookies, ice cream, potato chips. These types of foods, generally, after e eating these kinds of foods, you have a tendency to get hungry again very quickly. And because these foods were already very high calorie, if you eat again very quickly, you do have a very high chance of eating excess amounts of food. So one of the first things to think about is fiber content. High fiber foods generally give you a feeling of fullness. You also wanna make sure you're drinking plenty of fluids, particularly when you are eating a lot of fiber. When you have a lot of fluid with a high fiber meal, that will actually make you feel full and it will last for a significant period of time. The other thing that you want to make sure and do when you are eating a meal is that you want to include a lean source of protein and some healthy fats. Lean proteins would be things such as chicken, fish, lean beef or pork, and healthy fats would be items such as nuts, seeds, avocado, peanut butter, or something stir-fried in a vegetable oil like a canola oil. These types of fats are very, very healthy for you, plus they do tend to make you feel a little bit fuller after having a meal that includes them. Same thing with a lean protein. Any type of protein is very slowly digested, so it will stick with you longer. You'll have less risk of getting hungry very quickly after having a meal that has lean protein and healthy fat in it. And then the next thing to consider is your intake of omega-3 fats. Omega-3 fats are essential fats that your body cannot make, so you have to get it from your foods. They're primarily in seafoods, and if you don't get enough, sometimes it can cause cravings for carbohydrates, particularly starchy carbs like rice, pasta, or maybe even sweets. So again, make sure that you are including some seafood at least a couple of times a week, and if not, you may want to consider supplementing your diet with an omega-3 fish oil supplement. Otherwise, just include some type of seafood two or three times a week. So these are just some basic tips of things to try to curb your appetite.